Good morning and welcome to morning prayer. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of all. To you be glory and praise for ever. You founded the earth in the beginning and the heavens at the work of your hands. In the fullness of time you made us in your image and in these last days you have spoken to us. In your Son, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts. Your Spirit ever renew our lives and your praises be ever on our lips. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 6 O Lord, rebuke me not in your wrath, neither chasten me in your fierce anger. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I am weak. Lord, heal me, for my bones are racked. My soul also shakes with terror. How long, O Lord, how long? Turn again, O Lord, and deliver my soul. Save me for your loving mercy's sake. For in death no one remembers you. And who can give you thanks in the grave? I am weary with my groaning. Every night I drench my pillow and flood my bed with tears. My eyes are wasted with grief and worn away because of all my enemies. Depart from me, all that you do evil. For the Lord has heard the voice of my weeping. The Lord has heard my supplication. The Lord will receive my prayer. All my enemies shall be put to shame and confusion. They shall suddenly turn back to their in their shame. Turn again, O Lord, and deliver my soul. Lord Jesus Christ, may the tears shed in your earthly life be balm for all who weep. And may the prayers of all your pilgrimage give strength to all who suffer. For your mercy's sake. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. A reading from 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 16 to the end. I repeat, let no one think that I am a fool. But if you do, then accept me as a fool, so that I may to, may to boast a little. What, am I, what, what I am saying in regard to this boastful confidence, I am not saying. I am saying not with the Lord's authority, but as a fool. Since many boast according to human standards, I will also boast. For you gladly put up with fools, being wise yourselves. For you put up with it when someone makes slaves of you, or preys upon you, or takes advantage of you, or puts on airs, or gives you a slap in the face. To my shame, I must say. We were too weak for that. But whatever anyone dares to boast of, I am speaking as a fool. I also dare to boast of that. Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they descendants of Abraham? So am I. Are they ministers of Christ? I am talking like a madman. I am a better one, with far greater labours, far more imprisonments, with countless floggings, and often near death. Five times I have received from the Jews the forty lashes minus one. Three times I was beaten with rods. Once I received a stoning. Three times I was shipwrecked for a day, night and a day I was adrift at sea. On frequent journeys in danger from rivers, danger from bandits, danger from my own people, danger from Gentiles, danger in the city, danger in the wilderness, danger at sea. Danger from false brothers and sisters in toil and hardship, through many a sleepless night, hungry and thirsty, often without food, cold and naked. And besides other things, I am under daily pressure because of my anxiety for all the churches. Who is weak and I am not weak? Who is made to stumble 
and I am not indignant. If I must boast, I will boast of the things that show my weakness. The God and Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, blessed be he forever, knows that I do not lie. In Damascus, the governor under King Aretas set a guard on the city of Damascus in order to seize me. But I was let down in a basket, through a window, in the wall, and escaped from his hand. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Lead me in the path of your commandments, that I may see the wonders of your law. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. In your tender compassion, O God, the dawn of on high shall break upon us. Let us pray. Lord, we pray for this day and the tasks that come ahead of us. For the journey some of us are taking to work and to school and to college. Lord, I ask you would keep us safe. For the toil that is enjoyable or just awesome and hard. Lord, I ask your blessing. For the endless tasks that seem to have no end. Lord, I ask your blessing. For the world and its needs, especially at this time when the COVID pandemic does not seem to be letting up. Lord, I ask your blessing for the church and her life. Lord, I ask your blessing. Let us pray for all who are sick in body, mind or spirit. Calling to mind those we know and love who need a special touch at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those in the midst of famine or disaster, particularly the people of Germany and Netherlands following the Rhine floods. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who are bereaved and are still in their time of grief. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we give thanks to you, Lord, for all those who work in the medical and healing professions, even now as we're trying to recover from one wave of the pandemic and perhaps facing another one. Be with them, Lord. Keep them safe. Help them to continue to love and care in the way in which that they wanted when they first went into their profession. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord of all power and might, the author and giver of all good things, graft in our hearts the love of your name, increase in us true religion, nourish us with all goodness, and of your great mercy keep us in the same. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. On earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful day. It certainly looks like it's going to be. Bye.